everybody and welcome to Rocco Baby Crochet. I hope you're all well. A lovely warm welcome back to all my regular viewers and subscribers. It's so lovely to have you here and thank you for supporting the channel. A massive warm welcome to anybody who's just found the channel for the first time. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Stick around and consider subscribing which will mean you won't miss out on my next patterns or tutorials and it'll just support the channel as well. So over the next three tutorials we're going to be learning how to make the gorgeous baby gift sets and this first out of the three tutorials is just going to show us how we make the baby bib. Our lovely baby bib measures 10 inches in length and 8 inches in width and to make your bib you're going to need a little button so I've popped a button here up on the top. Mine's 15 millimetres in diameter for my button. You'll also need your two yarns. So I've chosen the Signet Silk Arrest. This beautiful green colour is called Mallow. And then I've done my edging in white. You'll also need a four millimetre crochet hook, a darning needle and a pair of scissors. You'll also need a regular needle just to attach your button and a little bit of thread. So grab your hooks, your yarn and a cuppa and let's make our baby sets together. Together. To begin making our bib, you want to make yourself a slip knot and place that onto our hook, and we're going to make a foundation chain of twenty five. So you're going to yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through in total 25 times. So I've just done five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, 23, 24 and 25. To move up to row one, we're going to place one double crochet in every chain along, skipping this first chain here and working directly into the second chain. So remembering this on our hook is the working yarn and doesn't count as a stitch. And you're counting back the two strands of yarn that make up the V. Each one of those Vs is a chain and it's into this second one here that we're going to be placing our first double crochet. Now when I'm working one of these baby bibs to get a neater finish I like to just turn my foundation chain over and you'll see these lines that run down the middle of each of the stitches each of the chains as it goes along so there's my first one and there's my second one so it's into that second one I'm going to place my hook now if you want to work into your chain from the front then go ahead and do that if you feel more comfortable or if you feel a bit more confident then work into the back loops like I'm doing. So you just go in to insert your hook into that second chain, yarn over and pull up a loop and you'll have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through both of those loops and you've just placed your first UK double crochet. Move along into your next chain, insert your hook, yarn over pulling up a loop, yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. Move along into your next chain, insert your hook, yarn over pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through both loops. Now if you are newer to crochet and you struggle to find your first and last stitch of each row then go ahead and place a stitch marker here into your first double crochet or if you've not got a stitch marker just a scrap piece of yarn will do just something where just something that will make it easily identifiable for you when you're coming up to finish row two. So we're just going to carry on moving along our chain placing one double crochet in every chain along and at the end of row one you should have a stitch count of 20 Four. remembering we chained 25 and skipped one and um, before we placed our first double crochet so if you want to make your way along your foundation chain placing one double crochet in every chain along just press pause and come back to me when you're ready to move up to row two 
I'm just at my last stitch of row one and I'm going to place my very last double crochet there and to move up to row two you want to chain one and turn your work. So for row two what we're going to do into this very first stitch here so we ignore this chain one that we've just done that's our turning chain and into the very first stitch here we're going to place a double crochet increase so that means we're placing two double crochets into that stitch so I'm going to insert my hook yarn over pulling up a loop yarn over pull through both loops and then I'm going to insert my hook back into that same stitch and place another double crochet so that's known as an increase then I'm going to work my way along for row two and in every stitch I'm going to place one UK double crochet until I come to the very last stitch so I'm just inserting my hook, yarning over, pulling up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops until I get to my very last stitch. So if you want to make your way across for row two, press pause and come back to me when you're ready to place that last stitch and we'll move up to row three together. I've just reached my last stitch of row two and into this very last stitch, the same as we did at the beginning, I'm going to place a double crochet increase. So I'm inserting my hook, yarning over and pulling through both loops and then I'm going to insert my hook back into that last stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through both loops. So so because we've put an increase in the beginning and at the very end of row two that means our stitch count is now at 26 so to move up to row three what you want to do is chain one and turn your work again we're not counting that turning chain as a stitch and we're working directly into this first stitch here for row three so you'll insert your hook underneath both strands of yarn that make up the top of the stitch and place your first double crochet there then you're going to place one double crochet in every stitch along for row three and your stitch count should remain at 26 when you come to the end. So if you want to make your way across placing one UK double crochet in every stitch along for a total of 26 stitches and come back to me when you're ready to move up to row four. So I've reached my last stitch of row three and I'm going to insert my hook and place my last double crochet. So now what you're going to do, and you'll notice that this video is all time stamped, we're going to repeat rows two and three another four times. So that will take you to row 11. So if you want to click back, you're going to repeat row two next, and then you'll repeat row three, then you'll repeat row two, then you repeat row three, up until you get to row 11. And that should take your stitch count when you reach row 11 to 34 stitches. So if you use the timestamps of the video and just repeat rows two and three until you get to row 11, and then I'll meet you back when we're ready to move up to row 12. I've just completed row 11 and I've got my stitch count at 34 stitches and hopefully at this point your work is looking exactly the same so we've got the shape here of the bottom of the bib. So to move on to row 12 I'm going to chain one and turn my work. For row 12 we're going to place one double crochet in every stitch along. Again don't forget our turning chain doesn't count as a stitch. We're going to go straight into that first stitch there and place a double crochet and then one double crochet in every stitch along. So at the end of row 12 your stitch count should still be at 34 stitches. So if you want to press pause while you make your way across for row 12 and come back to me when you are ready to move up to row 13. I've just reached my last stitch of row 12 so I'm just going to pop my hook in there and place my last double crochet chain one and turn my work. So for the next 21 rows, so that's row 13 through to row 33, we are just going to repeat row 12, placing one double crochet in every stitch across and your stitch count should remain at 34 stitches and this just makes our bib grow upwards in a straight line. So that'll take us to where we start to make the straps for the bib. So if you want to press pause and make your way along, placing one double crochet in every stitch along for row 13 up to row 33. And when you're ready to start row 34, if you want to come back to me and we'll move up to that and start making the straps to our bib together. 
I've just completed row 33 of my baby bib and this hopefully is what your bib is looking like too so you've got this nice straight edge and the curved bottom. So we're going to move on to row 34 and we're going to start the straps which are going to come up and round and we do that by placing increases and decreases in our stitches. So let's work this row together. So we're going to chain one and turn. Just before we start the straps it's important to know that your loose end from the very beginning of when we started our foundation shade is on the right hand side of your project when your project is facing you. It's important because when we come to do the second strap just so everything matches from side to side. So I've chained one and I'm ready to work my first stitch of row 34 and into this first stitch I'm going to place a UK double crochet and I'm going to place one double crochet in the next eight stitches so in total I'll have nine double crochets so there's one two three four five six seven, eight and there's my ninth. So what we need to do next is over the next two stitches we're going to make a decrease so we're going to insert our hook into the very next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop and instead of finishing off that stitch we're going to move directly into the next stitch, insert our hook yarn over pulling up a loop so in total you'll have three loops on your hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through all of those loops. We need to chain one and turn our work. For row 35 we're going to start off by making another decrease in these first two stitches so again I'm going to insert my hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, move into the next stitch along, insert my hook, pull up a loop, three loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Then we're going to work one double crochet into the next eight stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. We'll chain one and turn to move up to row 36. For row 36 we're going to place one double crochet into the first seven stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six and seven and over these last two stitches we're going to make another decrease so insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, insert your hook into the very next stitch, yarn over and pull up another loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops chain one and turn and for row 37 we're just going to place one double crochet in every stitch along and we should have a total of eight stitches so there's one two three four five six, seven and eight. Chain one and turn your work again. For row 38 we're going to make one double crochet in the first six stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five 
and six and then over the last two stitches we're going to make another decrease so insert your hook pull up a loop move into the very next stitch insert your hook pull up a loop three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three loops chain one and turn your work for row 39 we're going to start off and place a decrease over the first two stitches so insert your hook pull up a loop move into your next stitch insert your hook pull up another loop three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three loops and then into the remaining five stitches we're going to place one double crochet so there's one two three four and five chain one and turn to move up to row 40 and for row 40 we're just going to place one double crochet in every stitch across and we should have six stitches here now so there's one two three four five and here's my last one six so then we'll chain one and turn our work again and now for the next six rows so 41 through to row 46 we're just going to be placing one double crochet in every stitch across for a total of six stitches so if you want to press pause while you work your way up to row 46 and when you're ready to move on to row 47 if you want to come back to me and we'll move up to row 47 together so row 41 through to row 46 is one double crochet in each stitch across for a total stitch count of six stitches per row so I'll see you back here when you're ready to move up to row 47 I've just completed row 46 and this is what my bib is starting to look like now so what we need to do is make the strap come around sort of curving this way now so the way that we do that is for row 47 you are just going to chain one again and turn your work and then into this very first stitch here so again not counting our turning chain working into our first stitch here we're going to place a double crochet increase so we're going to place two double crochets into our very first stitch so there's one back into my same stitch and place my second one then into the next three stitches we're going to place one double crochet so there's one two and three and then into my last two stitches I'm going to make a decrease so I'm going to insert my hook into my next stitch yarn over and pull up a loop and then move directly into the very last stitch Oop, a bit tight that one yarn over and pull up a loop again so I've got three loops on my hook now I'm going to yarn over and pull through all of those loops I'm going to chain one and turn my work and for row 48 into this very first two stitches we're going to work another decrease so I'm going to insert my hook into that first stitch pull up a loop move directly into my next stitch along and pull up another loop yarn over and pull through all three loops then into the next three stitches I'm going to place one double crochet so there's one two and there's my third one and into this very last stitch I'm going to place a double crochet increase so I'm placing two into this last stitch so rows 47 and 48 your stitch count should remain at six stitches so there's my first 
going back into that stitch and placing my second double crochet. We're going to repeat rows 47 and 48 four more times which will take us to row 56. So again make use of the timestamps if you need to and we're just going to repeat rows 47 and 48 another four times. So if you want to press pause while you do that and flick back and forth in the video if you need to and meet me back when you have finished up at row 56. I've just finished row 56 and this is what your bib should be looking like now. So we've made this lovely strap that's curving inwards. Just to finish that off, we're gonna tie off now. So I'm just going to chain one, take my scissors, leave a couple of inches to weave in that loose end and snip off your yarn. Pull up on that chain one and pull your yarn through and then pinch that chain one between your fingers and pull firmly on it just to secure that knot there. Just got to work our second strap over on this side. So if you remember, I said it was important that we have the work facing the right way when we come to do the second strap. So I'm gonna turn my work. So again, so my loose end is on the right hand side when I'm starting my second strap. So, and we're going to work this same exact steps, but we're going to do it in reverse over on this side of the bib. So I know I've got my work facing the right way and I'm gonna drop down to this side here and we're going to do our row 34 on the left hand side. So what we need to do is I'm just going to attach my yarn and I like to make a slip knot again and pop it onto my hook, but you can attach your yarn in your preferred way. I know there's a lot of different ways to do it. This isn't technically the correct way, but I feel like it adds a little bit more security when I'm attaching my yarn. And what we need to do is we need to count in 11 stitches so there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven so it's into that eleventh stitch there counting in from the left hand side in towards the middle I'm going to insert my hook into that stitch and then I'm just going to join it with a slip stitch. So I'm going to yarn over and pull through and then pull through again and just chain one. So we need to make the bib curve this way now. So what I'm going to do where I've just attached my yarn into that same stitch, I'm going to insert my hook back into there and we're going to do a decrease over the next two stitches, yarn over and pull up a loop. Move into my next stitch along, insert my hook, yarn over and pull up a loop. So I've got three loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops that are on my hook. Then what I'm going to do is place one double crochet in the remaining nine stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, And nine and then I'm going to chain one and turn to go up to row 35 and for row 35 I'm going to place one double crochet into the first eight stitches so insert my hook into that first stitch place a double crochet do that into the first eight stitches so that's three four five, six, seven and eight and over my next two stitches again I'm going to make a decrease. So I'm going to insert my hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, insert my hook into the very next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop three loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. So you'll have a stitch total of nine again. So we're just mirroring what we did on the other side, but we're just doing it in reverse. So then we'll chain one and turn to move up to row 36. And over these first two stitches, we're gonna make a decrease again. So 
so that's my decrease and then into the next seven stitches I'm just going to place one double crochet so there's one two three four five six and my last one seven so then I'll chain one and I'll turn to move up to row 37 and row 37 we're just going to place one double crochet in each of these stitches across for eight stitches so insert your hook into the first stitch and place a double crochet and then one double crochet in the next seven stitches so in total we'll have eight so that's three four five six seven and there's eight we'll chain one and turn to move up to row 38 and over the first two stitches we're going to place a decrease sometimes you'll hear a decrease called double crochet two together it's exactly the same thing we're inserting our hook into that first stitch pulling up a loop moving into the second stitch along pulling up another loop yarn over pull through all three loops then into the next six stitches we're going to place one double crochet so there's one two three four five and my last one six and so row 38 you'll have a stitch total of seven chain one and turn your work to move up to row 39 and for row 39 over our first two stitches we're going to make a decrease so insert your hook into the first stitch pull up a loop move into the second stitch insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook then we want to place one double crochet in the remaining five stitches so that's one, two, three, four, and five. So your stitch count at the end of row 39 should be six stitches. We're going to chain one and turn and for row 40 we're just going to place one double crochet in every stitch along. So I'm going to insert my hook into that first one and place a double crochet, move into my next one and place another double crochet and in total for row 40 we'll have a stitch count of six. So that's my third fourth, that's five and there's six. I'm going to chain one and turn my work and again like we did previously on the, the opposite side we now need to repeat row 40 six times so that'll take us up to row 46 so we're just going to place one double crochet in each of the six stitches for row 41 through to row 46 so if you want to press pause and work up to row 46 and then when you're ready to move up to row 47 come back to me and We'll pick that up together. I've just finished row 46 and now we need to make our strap go in towards the middle so we're going to chain one and turn to move up to row 47 and over these first two stitches I'm going to make a decrease so I'm going to insert my hook into that first stitch yarn over pull up a loop move into my second stitch yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all three loops on my hook then I'm going to place one double crochet in each of the next three stitches so that's one two 
and three and then into my last stitch I'm going to place a double crochet increase so I'm going to insert my hook yarn over pull up a loop place my first double crochet then back into that same stitch and place a second double crochet we still should have a stitch count of six at the end of row 47 we'll chain one and turn our work to move up to row 48 and for row 48 into this very first stitch here we're going to place a double crochet increase so insert your hook into that first stitch and place one double crochet then back into that same stitch and place a second double crochet. We're then going to place one double crochet in the next three stitches. So that's one, two, and three. And then our last two stitches, we're going to work a decrease. So insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop and move into that last stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Next we're going to match exactly what we did on the opposite side and we're going to repeat rows 47 and rows 48 in total four more times. So again make use of the timestamps in this video if you need to and I'll meet you back up when we're finishing off. So I've just finished my row 56, I'm going to chain one, take my scissors and just snip off my yarn leaving enough to weave in my loose ends pull up on that chain one hold my chain one between my thumb and my finger and pull firmly just to secure that knot so I've tied off my strap here now I've completed the left hand strap and I've not turned my work or anything like that and you'll notice that the tail end of the loose end of the foundation chain from the very beginning is on the right hand side which means your work is wrong side facing so what we want to do now is we're going to do a row of edging all the way around in this same green colour before we put on our white edging or your contrasting colour edging and that just gives it a much neater crisper finish than if we was working straight with the white and we was working into the end stitches sometimes it can look a little bit messy so I like to go all the way around it first of all in the main colour and then do the white colour for a roll to keep it looking neat and the colours nice and crisp. So we need to have the work on the right side facing so you're going to turn your work and you know it's the right side facing you when your loose end from your foundation chain is on the left hand side. I'm going to take my yarn and I'm going to make a slip knot and place my yarn onto my hook and I'm going to start off up here on the right hand strap in the very corner. So if we remember we had six stitches at the top of our bib on our last row of the strap. So we're going to place one double crochet in each of those six stitches. So let's zoom in on this a little bit and then you can see it a bit clearer. I'm also going to crochet over these loose ends just to save me having to weave them in later on. So insert your hook into that top corner stitch and attach your yarn. and you're just going to chain one. Into that same stitch, we're going to place a double crochet and one double crochet in each of the stitches along. So you'll have a total of six. So that's one, two, three, four, five and six and then I'm going to place one double crochet into every row end stitch going along the curve of this bib so one double crochet in each end until I get to this straight part and then I'll just be placing one double crochet into each stitch and then as I work my way back up here I'll be placing one double crochet into the end stitch of each row, one double crochet into each of these six stitches going across the top of my left hand strap, one double crochet in the end of each row going down the left hand side and then one double crochet in every stitch along the bottom, one double crochet in every end of the row stitch and the same going up here until I get back up to the top 
corner here where I started. So we don't put any extra stitches or when we're going around the corners for this project. It's literally just one per stitch or one per row. So I've just done my six across. Again, I'm just going to be carrying my yarn over to save me weaving in later on. And if you have a look, I can see here that I need to place one double crochet into this end stitch here. And then I'll place one into the next row just below it. One just below again. And then here's my next one. So I'm going to place one just there. Here's my next one. There's my next one. So you just work your way across placing one double crochet in the end of every row or one double crochet into the top of a stitch if you're on a straight edge. And I'll meet you back when I come to my starting point here. So if you press pause while you work your way along and then we'll pick it back up together here and we'll work the contrasting colour which for me will be white and we'll work the pico stitch together. I've just placed my last stitch along and I've, and I've reached my starting point again and I just want to slip stitch to join this colour into the first double crochet that I did. I'll be a little bit careful here because this one here where we attached our yarn will look like a stitch but our first stitch is actually this one here so it's into that one that I'm going to place my hook, insert my hook into the top of that stitch. yarn over and pull through and then pull through again. I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to leave enough of a loose end for me to weave in later on. So a good couple of inches, three or four inches. Pull up on that chain one and then place that chain one between your finger and thumb and pull firmly just to secure it. So then you want to get your contrasting colour. So for me I've chosen white. Let's just zoom out and then you can see what we're looking like. That's what your bib should be looking like now at this point. So it's got this lovely neat edge now going all the way around it. So I've just attached my white yarn to my hook with a slip knot and what I'm going to do is on the left hand strap up in the top right hand corner the very first of our horizontal double crochets so you'll be able to tell where it is so you can see these ones here with the end row stitches and the V is in a vertical position and then your first one that's in a horizontal position that's where you're going to be placing your hook once you've got your hook into the stitch you're going to slip stitch to join and then you're going to chain one and place a double crochet into that very first stitch where we've just joined. I'm going to crochet over my loose end to save me a job of weaving in later. Then into the second stitch along we're going to place another double crochet but we're also going to add a pico to this stitch. Now I have done a video just breaking this down a little slower for you if you are newer to crochet. I'll leave a link in the description to this video for you if you do need to watch it. But all we're going to do is chain three, one, two and three and then we're going to insert our hook from top to bottom and we're going to insert it underneath this front loop here of our double crochet and underneath the left vertical bar which makes up the post stitch. So insert your hook underneath the front loop from top to bottom and then underneath the left vertical bar which makes up part of the post and then you'll yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook and that's the pico stitch. Into your next stitch along you're going to place a double crochet and then into your next stitch you're going to place another double crochet and then do your next pico. So chain three, one, two, three and then insert your hook from top to bottom underneath the front loop and underneath the left vertical bar of the stitch, yarn over and pull through all loops on your hook. Double crochet into the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch along and place another pico stitch and you just repeat this all the way around
side of the bib where you place a double crochet and then a double crochet with a pico on the top and I do that just around the outside edging and then around the inside of the neck of the bib I'll just place one double crochet into each of those stitches without the picots so that'll just be regular double crochets on the inside there so if you want to make your way all the way around come back to me when you're getting to about this point here and then we can work the loop for the button together and just finish off by attaching our button so if you press pause and I'll see you shortly so I've worked all the way around about my last couple of stitches now I hope you love how your bib is looking I love mine I love this green color and what I'm going to do now is I'm just got I have just got four stitches left to place so I'm going to make my last couple of double crochets and then into this last stitch I'm going to place a double crochet and then I'm going to chain eight so one two three four five six seven and eight and then I'm going to place a second double crochet back into that last stitch and that's for my button loop and then I'm going to slip stitch to the very first stitch that I did so again don't get it confused with your chain one it's your very first double crochet that you're going to slip stitch in so insert your hook underneath the top of that stitch, yarn over and pull through and pull through again just to finish that off. And then you'll chain one, leave a long enough loose end, so three or four inches for you to weave in. Pull up on that chain one, hold the chain one between your thumb and your finger and pull firmly just to secure that. And then that's created our button loop. So the only thing that we've got left to do now is to weave in these few loose ends that we've got here at the top. I've managed to crochet over most of my loose ends and then attach your button just opposite your loop that we've just made just over there. Make sure that you fasten on your button really securely because this is for a baby so we don't want it coming loose or anything like that so just be a little bit careful when you're doing that but I'll leave you to that yourself. So let's have a look at what we've got. So there is what our finished baby bib looks like. I love mine. I hope you do too. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this tutorial. Like and subscribe so you don't miss the second part to this baby gift set. Leave me a comment down below. I've not decided which one I'm going to release yet. The pacifier clip or the teething ring. So if you want one in particular releasing before the other. Then drop me a comment in the comment box. And the next one is due to be released on Wednesday. So take care. I'll see you Wednesday. Have a great weekend. Happy hooking. Bye.